skilling feels like this. PVM feels like this. <sighs> but getting pets? Pets feel like this. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my fucking god, bro! I got the fuck. <laughs> Welcome to One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. So before we get started with the video, we're going to have us a little competition. So leave in the comments below the fire making XP that you think I'm going to get the Phoenix at. And if you're the closest when I eventually do get the Phoenix, then you will win. Let's call it 100 mil. 100 mil to the closest fire making XP that I get the Phoenix at. Good luck. I have just been to the dentist and had my mouth numbed to fuck, so I can barely speak. <laughs> I sound like I've got a lisp, but there is a shield of Arab, and I think that should be all the quests that I need to get 100 kudos at the museum. Um, so I'm going to go talk to them now. Okay, we can't. We got a pickpocket an NPC here. I'm pretty sure because it says steal from and not pickpocket, that that isn't rolling rocky. If I'm wrong, then we're gonna have to come up with some kind of punishment, but I'm pretty sure that steal from this dig site workman doesn't roll the rocky pet at all. Yeah, there's no info on the wiki about these things giving the pet, so yeah, let's let's find out. I, I, I really think because it's a steal from instead of pickpocket that there's not a roll. I think that makes sense. Okay, so again, digging in, uh, digging here for in the soil, even though it gives mining XP, is not rolling any uh, pets. Um, I've checked the list many times. Um, so, for example, I can't do um, I can't do the knight sword because you have to mine blue right, which does give a pet roll. Um, but this does not. Um, so yeah, we're, we're safe to keep doing this for the time being, which is, uh, which is handy. Um, because uh, if we couldn't, we'd be locked out of this quest and locked out of Bone, Vo Bone Voyage, which would lock us out of birdhouses, which would be really not cool. Um, so yeah, good news that we can do this. Right, and with that 40 crafting, we can now, I think, make ruby necklaces and enchant them into uh, dig site pendants. So we can start doing some birdhouse runs and also probably start, well, I won't have um, any abonite crabs yet, but once I get 99, well, once I get the phoenix pet, I'll be able to do that to get some easy levels. Oh, look at the state of this. I absolutely love the alchemy room. With that, 49 magic, uh, which is the level to enchant ruby um, jewellery. Oh, and 27 combat as well. Very nice. Uh, so we'll be able to make our dig site pendants now. Very cool. That experience of sailing makes me so fucking nervous for sailing as an actual skill, because that was fucking dreadful. Um, but, crucially, we are here. Uh, who do I... that one? I think that's it. Here we are. We're at Fossil Island, so we can start doing our birdhouse runs relatively soon. Exciting stuff. Right, let's build uh, the bank. Probably a good place to start. Excellent. There we go. So, Fossil Island is now ready, and I just need to look into what I actually need for birdhouse runs. So, to get the 30 smithing, to get the steel bars, to get the clockworks, to get the birdhouses, I needed to do Sleeping Giant. So that's got us to 26 smithing, um, and I'm just going to need to use some stuff and actually just do some Giant's Foundry. Um, I haven't got any bars, I don't think, but I do... I've got some bronze. Um, but I do have uh, some iron ore, which I'm just going to superheat here. Okay, right, we've done that. And that should be over 30 smithing, I think. 
Yeah, 31, perfect, right. Can we actually get anything? Have we got anything? 88 reputation, can we, what's that? Uh, uh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, okay, these are, ah, oh, duh. I'll look into this another day. <laughs> um, but that means that we now have our steel bars that we can create, so we can create some clockworks and we can start our birdhouses. Oh, we just got 50 construction. I swear that's an important level. I think that lets us have portals in our house and also um, also lets us move our house to Yanil, which could be interesting in terms of training crafting because I obviously can't mine sandstone to get my buckets of sand, so Yanil sand pit might actually be the best method. Okay, so we're doing our first birdhouse run of uh, of the account. I can't remember how much XP these are going to be. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay, so loads of XP. Uh, we'll be on to oak ones before we know it and we'll be flying through the hunter levels. Uh, that's so exciting. Love this. Okay, so we got 14 from our first birdhouse run. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to be on oak birdhouses after this, which is, this, this is going to go crazy. The hunter levels are going to go flying past. Because I'm just going to do a solo of winter tard, then a birdhouse run. Solo of winter tard, then a birdhouse run. Just got 15 million fire making XP and right at the end of this, um, of this uh, solo. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be a fucking painful one to finish. <laughs> but hopefully it won't be that bad. Oh, we're so close, come on. Oh, I really don't want to run out of run. When you run out of run and you're trying to light both these brazers, it's so painful. Okay. Uh, heal him. Come on, it's so annoying when you overshoot like this. The ones when I kill it, when it's like 13.5 exactly, are the best. Right. There we go. Okay. I shall open this casket on camera just to... Um... I'll just open it here. It'll be all right. Uh, my pet. <sighs> okay, first oak bird house of the account. Let's see how much XP it is. 420 at level 17. That's wild. So we'll be getting easily, easily 20 hunter this run. And with that, we have 70 fletching. That is crazy, considering we've not done any proper fletching. I'm so excited to see what levels we end up in fletching and construction and woodcutting. By the time we're done here, it's fucking crazy XP. Okay, so I've decided to level up my farming so that I can get some better supplies than Winter Todd crates. I was going to leave it till after Winter Todd, but I think starting on it sooner rather than later is the best bet. Um, I'm going to need a lot of herbs. And I guess this is quite a big series contradiction. And the only series contradiction I'm actually going to... Um, I'm actually going to make... Um, because I think the series just doesn't really work unless I do the farming pet passively. Um, cause the, I, I would basically be forced to just camp at seaweed until I got the farming pet and it would just, that's shit content. It's shit content and it, um, it doesn't help me in any way. It doesn't make me feel better about it. Um, so if I just do the farming passively whilst I go for these first few pets, I will then have access to things like... Uh, range parts, super attack parts, stamina potions ready to do some actual bossing with. Because um, my plan on this account is to do Corrupted Gauntlet relatively early before I've unlocked most of the skills. Like I'm not going to unlock things like uh, mining and fishing until after I've done Corrupted Gauntlet um, in an ideal world. Um, and I also then immediately want to go for General Grador after doing Corrupted Gauntlet because I can then use the Bofa at Bandos. So if I'm going to go like 8,000 Bandos KC to get the pet, I'm going to need Stamina Potions. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I think just starting farming is the best thing. And I'm hoping this guy's going to let me relocate to Hosidius. He is fantastic. So there we go. We can go and start our... 
uh, at Hosidia's favour, which is then going to let us get some early farming XP from the um, fertiliser that you've got to make, or the sulfurous fertiliser, whatever it is. Um, and then we can start farming properly, which will be good. This has got to be the worst content in the game. What? What is the point? <laughs> Why not just... This is mental. Who invented this and thought, oh yeah, that's good content. Well done, guys. Here we go. We now have 15 farming, which is going to let us grow some oak trees so we can actually start training farming quite quickly. But I also got more than enough sulfurous fertilizer from doing that to get 100% Hercidius favor. So let's go and turn that. Here we go. Boom. Awesome. Right. I am not entirely sure if that actually gets us anything. <laughs> I just had a, had a spare 10 minutes. I thought I'd finish up uh, thought I'd finish up Plague City so that I could teleport to Ardoon because it was becoming uh, arduous not being able to. But there we go. That is nice because it was taking so long to get here. 16 million fire making XP. How many millions left to go? We cannot know. Um, none of the brazes are going out? <laughs> okay, it looks like we might get away. I thought we were just going to kill Wintertop by accident there. 3% though, with one still going. That needs to go out, like, now. Oh dear. 1%! Go out! Okay. Right, I'm going to not be able to place these for a second um, so I might just go around repairing the mages <laughs> whoops I accidentally just killed it about 7,000 points um, alright what I'm going to do uh, is probably open these crates one sec ok I'm not entirely sure I haven't done this quest already but in the pursuit of XP and skills I cannot train with starting a recipe for disaster and it all starts with the cook's assistant. I've got my baby with me, so if you hear some shouting in the background, it's her. Okay, right. Is that the... Okay. Right, okay. There, there's... We've got, we've got to log out. The baby is ready for dinner, so we'll pick this up afterwards. I believe this should be the end of the Garden of Death. The Garden of Death! 10,000 farming XP, that is mental for a quest, that easy, um, which takes us straight to, why well, don't want... do I get anything for doing that? I don't know, but now I can do willow trees straight away, so on day one of farming, we're at 30 and we're going to plant some willow trees soon and we're 6 XP off uh, level 31, so a good start to our farming grind, which I'm, I'm hoping is going to be flying through the levels quicker uh, I don't know what I was going to say quicker than quicker than an Elon Musk rocket or quicker than Elon Musk rocket blows up hmm. just grabbing my first fruit trees on the account I've been absolutely gaming on mobile doing hunter and farming um, so the level should be kind of flying in in that regard um, I, think I'd, I don't need the bananas particularly oh, monkeys are shouting at me um, right, so we'll plant um, our banana tree back. I'm only doing two fruit trees at the minute um, because I'm not really seeing... Because I can't go to the grand tree particularly easily because I can't do the grand tree yet because I don't have a, a high enough agility level. Um, I'm just And I'm not getting that many seeds from Winter Todd. Um, so I'm pretty happy to just uh, keep... Keep doing the two spots over and over. I'm doing four regular tree spots as well. Um, and I'm just going to try and keep as consistent with it as possible. See what level we can get to. Um, probably start planting herbs at some point. Probably only in the Hasidious patch because it's uh, disease free. Um, and I don't have easy teleports to many others anyway. Um, so yeah, just kind of starting the farm. I'm going to be consistent but small scale with it. And yeah, the hunter is really flying up there. But my main issue is that I've not got the crafting level for uh, maple birdhouses yet, so I need to, I need to decide how I'm going to get my crafting up in a sort of more meaningful way.
So I'm just doing a bit of Giant's Foundry to get my smithing up. If I can get to 40 uh, with the steel stuff I just bought, that would be ideal. But the smithing XP is actually pretty crazy. 4,400 at level 30... I think it was 33, so that's two levels. Um, and it's so, so easy. So now I just need to... Okay, set a heavy flat sword. So one, uh, two, and three. Set the mold, go up here grab uh, seven of those, stick those in there, all, pour, and then I just get on with making the sword. It takes about five minutes and it's honestly insane how um, good the XP is uh, for how little resources you've got to put in as well. Um, so I'm going to make loads more um, dig site pendants, uh, rings of dueling, etc. Um, and that should get me up to 45 crafting. Then I can make the maple bird houses and then I will be laughing. And here we are with 40 smithing. And honestly, it took 20 minutes. Wild, right, there's my PB sword time at least. I don't need another commission. And there is 40 smithing, so we can start making some gold bars at the blast furnace. Exciting times. Right, can I just minigame telly to the blast furnace? I think I should be able to. Yes, good stuff. Considering what I went through to get um, to get gold bars before, look at the state of how easy this is. Buy the gold, chuck in the gold, get the bucket ready, use the bucket, grab the gold. 26 gold bars, as easy as that, and I tell you, grabbed like uh, like 50 of them. Oh my god, that is wild. That that is that's a thing. I mean, it, it just points to Iron Man being a joke at this point, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, I've been doing four trees because I thought I couldn't use spirit trees <laughs> for the longest time, and as it turns out, you only need to do tree name village. Uh, to use spirit trees, not the grand tree. So here we are doing tree name village. Nice. I thought this would give um, this would give XP, but the fact it doesn't is so good. So I'm not even getting hit points XP doing this. Tome of fire really coming in clutch here with the 18s with fireball and no chaos gauntlets. Um, but I'm like barely getting hit points XP. So that just means there's more quests I can do without leveling hit points. Ah, oh, that's so good. Um, but yeah, spirit tree access, gonna be huge for farming, and I can't believe that this whole video I've been saying, oh yeah, but I can't do uh, spirit tree access because I haven't done the grand tree. Cringe. But uh, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. And I'm gonna get a load of attack XP from this as well. Quest completed. That was that was almost a borderline offensive impersonation of uh, of uh, C Engineer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I think that's the, those able to be used. Thank you, Bolren. Yep, there we go. Two quest points, no mammula, and 35 attack. No combat levels because I think we're still magic based, but I should be able to go to the Grand Tree with this. Uh, can I? No stronghold? I can, and the farming spot's right there. Very cool, very cool. Here we go for the. Hold on. I oh, only five for in one source. Okay. Here we go for the fattest lump of XP ever. Oh, so good. 40 attack, 30 strands. Sets us up ready for combat in the future. Uh, we don't actually need any of the other stuff, but I think that's going to get us very high. Com oh, no. We've not even changed our combat base. That's cool. So we're still magic based. Interesting. All right. So now time to just focus on winter tod farming and birdhouses. And here we are with 45 farming. We are really flying through it. Oh my god. I get the farming guild. Does that mean I get the super compost heap? Or is that the net? Yeah, because I think the bit with the herbs is the, is the lower tier, right? Although I've got no way to get to the farming guild because I haven't got any fairy rings. Um, <laughs> okay, right. What are we going to do? Um, I shall decide shortly. I just realised I sounded really camp in that clip, didn't I? I was like, I was like, oh my god, hello guys, I got access to the farming guild. I'll promise never 
never to do that again. Okay, I think I'm actually going to call it there. Um, not too much actual winter tub done this week. I only got, what, 4 mil fire making XP, but I mean a lot of other progress that's going to set me up for the future with the farming and the crafting and the uh, and the hunter um, and the shitload of quests that we did. Um, so I'm going to round it off here and open up this 27 slot crate. So we've got a 0.5% chance, chance of getting the pet right here. That would be pretty cool. Uh, we did not get it, <laughs> but we did get some Ranel suits, which is pretty good. Um, all right, well, I'll see you guys next time um, where I'm going to be planning to do a lot more Winter Todd um, and really start pushing towards that pet. Oh, yeah, and th thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>